Hey guys, this is Jaden from The Enablers, and I'm working on Sai today to do some Meowth Pokemon fusions, because Meowth is my favorite Pokemon. First, I'm designing a Pillow Swine and Meowth fusion. Um, right now, I'm just scribbling out the form, trying to get it to look like there's a uh, dimension to it. So the anatomy is not accurate at all. I'm using the lasso tool to move things around, get everything in the right position, the right proportions. I want this fusion to have like a really relaxed look, like a lazy, you know, pillow swine looks kind of lazy, like he just lays around, so that's the feel I want to go for with this design. Um, so I want the legs and the arms to be really, very relaxed, he's in like a slouched, seated position. I had the feet going up at first, but that takes muscle to hold it up there like that, and it doesn't look very relaxed. So I just want them to look very like a rag doll. For the tail, I decided to do the same thing, where it's just lying on the floor, and uh, the ending of the tail is going to match the hair tufts that go over the eyes. Same thing with the paw. When the fingers were spread out, it didn't look very relaxed, so I changed it. So it looks more like he's just holding his paw up there. I want to give this a Meowth mouth, because I really like Meowth's mouth. I'm seeing what'll look good on the head. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. I know I want there to be floppy ears though. That's a must. The whiskers on the side, it makes it look too busy. There's too much going on. I tried to put the whiskers on the top of the head instead. Decided not to go with tusks either. There's too much going on on the head area. Trying out whiskers again, but it's just too much. I made a new layer and now I'm starting to line it. I'm using the same brush though that I used to sketch with because I like the sketchy feel to it. I should have done this sooner, but I'm flipping the canvas to see if it looks weird. And it looks like he's tilted to the right, so I'm fixing that with the lasso tool. I've got to tilt my line with work as well. I recommend flipping the canvas using that button at the top uh, with the two arrows going left and right. Because when we get used to looking at it, our eyes can't really see the mistake, so we flip it, it gives us a fresh perspective.
decided not to go with those whiskers on the top of the head. They look more like horns because the whiskers are supposed to be coming out of the forehead of Meowth, but this looks like it's just poking out of its scalp randomly. is really bothering me. It looks like two lines that shouldn't be connected are connecting to each other, so I'm trying to fix that. I'm cleaning up the line art here. The sketch brush that I use is really messy. I can't erase with it without making smudges everywhere, so I'm using the regular pen tool to erase. Just click on the transparency button where the two color swatches are. It turns it into an eraser, whatever brush you're using. I'm rotating the canvas so I can make these lines more easily. So here I'm copying the line layer so it duplicates to make the lines darker. The tail lines look a little bit too light compared to the rest of them. So I'm going to duplicate the layer again but cut out the body section of the lines. So just the tail lines are duplicated to make them darker. Now I'm going to organize my layers which I could have done in the beginning, but I'm making a folder and putting the line art and the color layer and the sketch layer all under that folder. So the color is on a layer underneath the lines. I'm still using the same brush. I just made the uh, brush bigger. I'm using Pillow Swan's main body color for this, and I'm getting the swatches from my references on the right. Now I'm using the watercolor tool to smooth it all out so it doesn't have all those streaks. I'm not going to smooth all this out with the watercolor because the highlights actually give it some texture. It actually makes it look like fur. I'm trying to figure out what color from Meowth I want to use. With Meow's main body color, it goes better with this brown color. Now I'm using the watercolor tool to blend it out. I color swatched a darker color off of Pillow Swan so I can do some shading. I'll have the light source coming in from the left hand side. So I'm putting the shadow on the right.
it. That's pillow swine. Meowth fusion finished. Now I'm gonna go on to the next one, which is Cacturn and Meowth. This one I'm gonna give a whole different vibe. It's gonna be more creepy, sneaky looking. Um, the pose I'm going for is like he's more sinister, I guess. The angle I'm drawing him from is from the top, so the hat shape covers a lot of the face. to get the perspective right because the head and the paws are going to be closest to I guess the camera closest to the foreground and the feet are going to be farther away you never know what's going to look good until you do it which is why I like using the lasso tool and using free deform and moving things around Figuring out how to draw the perspective of the legs and feet. I keep changing things around until it looks good. Flip the canvas, see if anything looks weird. That really helps. position. I want it to have more action. So I'm going to change those legs. Make it look more like he's in motion. figured out that I want the tail to be going into the background. And I'm going to have his claws showing to kind of mimic the spikes all over Cacturn's body. Thorns on Cacturn have this 
concave shape. You know, you can see it on the, on the hat, the main shape for the hat. The lines go inward, they curve inward. So I'm doing that same shape for the ears as well. opacity of the sketch layer and putting the line layer over top. Now that I'm doing the lining, I'm making sure that I have all of these shapes right. Because Cacturn has repetitive shapes throughout his design, and I want to do the same thing for this. I'm definitely going to keep these lower whiskers here, because they look like needles. I decided to change up the foot a bit and make him look more stable on the ground.
putting some spikes on the upper arm shoulder area and some on the sides of the lower legs but not as much as in the original cacturn design because it looks like too much too much going on i want to keep it relatively simple and not busy looking Now I'm going to duplicate the line layer to make the lines darker. Lower the opacity a bit, get them to the right darkness that I want. Now I'm going to do the coloring, so I make a new layer and put it under the line layers. I decided to go to the line layers and use the magic wand selection tool. Then I go up to selection, increment by one, then I invert it under the selection drop down menu. And so now we have everything inside the line selected. Now I go back to the color layer. Now I can color it without having to worry about going outside the line. green for the main body, the darker shade, or the darker green for the hat, and the details, and I'm using my own uh, almost black color, it's really dark green for years. against the darker green color. So I have that black, or that dark, really dark color against the dark green, so I'm doing the same thing in the tail. I'm using the dark black color for more shading. And my sketchy brush that I'm using, if I press down lightly, it only does a little bit of the color. If you take a color that you use in one part or maybe two parts of your picture, like the green black color in, for the ears and the thorns on the tail, um, and you take that color and you use it uniformly throughout the picture, like as a shading color, it makes the picture look 
cohesive. Okay, and that's it. That's the Cacturn Meowth Fusion. All right, and here they are. I drew some more to go along with these. I'll put the link in the description. See ya! Thank mm -hmm. you.